96th birthday in her shack, and she lived to be 102 years old. And then here's some uh, fresh blueberries here. Oh, Again, wow. they're not doing that well because it's been pretty dry wow. and hot. So blueberries, cranberries, uh, raspberries, bayberries, as I mentioned. Have you heard of bayberry candles? So bayberries are a gray, waxy berry. And you make the candles by simmering the berries in water. And then the wax floats to the top and you just skim the wax out of the water. Good morning. There's one more truck behind me. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. You skim the wax out of the water and you just make the candles out of the wax that way. And the Native Americans taught the pilgrims when they were here how to make favorite candles. Beach plums, beach plum jelly and jam or cordial. I don't think it's going to be a great year for beach plums. Again, um, here we see lots of people walking. This is the trail that we saw all the cars parked. This is the trail up over that high dune. You see somebody almost to the top. The ocean's right there. And then this is where that original life-saving station was when it floated out to sea. Slid down the dune and floated out to sea. Mm. So this shack here is the Margo Gelb shack. The artisan residency program now leases that from the government. So we have a photographer in the truck, correct? So if this photographer wanted to stay in the Margot Gelb shack, you could stay there for free for two weeks. Oh, wow. All you would have to do is submit an application to the artisan residency program. And if they, if they accepted your application, um, they would bring you out here, stay here for two weeks. The only thing that you would have to do is, is do your photography while you're here mm. and take pictures and then share your work with the community when you get back. But how's the nightlife out here? <laughs> <laughs> you would have to walk back to town for the nightlife. <laughs> yeah. um,